Right, been doing a little bit more to the Jeep. Ended up moving the rear axle back about six inches. Front one went forward about three or four, I think. But, um, yeah, there's no way it was going to work where it was, so move that back. I've got the brackets and stuff all sort of tacked on there at the minute. Got panel bar and that's all tacked up. I'm just about to... Um, Lift it up, put the coil springs in it, and see what it sits like before I uh, fully weld them all on there. So, see what it looks like. Right, just looking at uh, getting the front drive shaft in this thing, and I think what I'm going to do is take the original Jeep output, take the Jeep shaft off, weld a Toyota flange to that end. Already got Toyota flange on the Unimog axle, and then use a Toyota front prop shaft in it because. <laughs> the Jeep system doesn't have enough slip on it and it's got a weird, some bloody weird setup on it whereas the Toyota shaft's got proper splines so I think that's what's going to go under it. I need to make it movable under its own steam because it's in the way. Right, this is a little drive shaft dilemma. Got the Jeep output, this one. And the Toyota output, and then the Toyota shaft, and loads of slip yoke on it, and somehow needs to combine these two. Pretty much something like that. So, I'm going to cut the back off this one, bring it to the lathe, turn it up, and just weld it to the Jeep one and hope it doesn't fly a bit. Massively convinced by that, but we'll see. See if it holds together. Probably not. Yeah, the front drive shaft's in there. 
and I'll start to look at the back one I just hope it stays there soon find out I guess and then we uh, finish well with all the back end of it jack it up and get it on some um, some wheels and tyres so it's actually bloody movable bit of a bonus <laughs> 